Matt Murphy here with Dave Cohn, and we're talking about the properties of objects, changing the property of objects, things that people do all the time. Yeah. Wouldn't it be great if there was a preview way to actually see the change before you actually applied it from the property palette? Well, there is. And for those of you who've worked with Microsoft Word before, you know, we've seen this in Word, we've seen this in Excel, when you want to apply a change to an object, when you actually move your cursor over a style, for example, in a Word document, you see that style applied to the object. Well, now the same thing happens in AutoCAD. If you've selected several objects and then you go to the Properties palette, and let's say you want to see what they look like in different color, as you move the cursor over the color selector, the objects that you've selected in the drawing canvas show or preview those colors as you are moving your cursor. So even before you select the color, you see what it looks like. And it works with any property. If you were to change layers, you'll see that preview in the drawing as you're moving your cursor over the different layers in the drop-down list. Well, I've got to call that it's a wicked cool feature. It is a cool feature, and it's the way other software works. Show me. In Canvas Property Preview enables you to dynamically preview changes to object properties before applying the changes. Notice that if I select this polyline and then use the Object Color tool in the Properties panel on the Home ribbon, as I move the cursor over each color in the drop-down list, I can see the color of the polyline change in the drawing. This enables me to preview the results before I actually select the color. If I expand the Properties palette, notice that the same Property Preview function works from here as well. If I double-click on this line, the program displays the Quick Properties palette. Notice that when I expand the color drop-down in the Quick Properties palette, I again see the color of the line change as I move the cursor over each color in the drop-down. The In Canvas Property Preview also works with the line type, line weight, and transparency object properties as well. I'll select the line, then in the status bar I'll make sure that the line weight is toggled on when I use the line weight tool in the ribbon. As I move the cursor over the various line weights, I can see a preview of what the line will look like with each line weight. And if I use the line type tool in either the ribbon or in the properties palette, as I move the cursor over each line type in the drop-down list, you can preview the appearance of the object with each line type.